Larry. Oh, Larry, I'm Gavin. Gavin, how are you? How's your meet? Oh, he's excited, man. Was he... Come on, That's buddy. That's a great shot. Just say Brady. Brady, right this way. Let me get one shot here, yes, too. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Good to see you guys. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? Looking good, man. Nice and clean, dude. Clean it. Love it. He says, nice tripod, Gavin. I said, yeah, thank you. It's hard to believe that I make all these videos without even having a camera. Got this little mic now. Just about a commitment starting somewhere. Committing to it and never giving up. Starting with nothing. That was really the key. Starting with nothing. This will not be a health and fitness related video. Stop watching now and come back tomorrow for something on health and fitness, if that's what you're here for. <sighs> what a journey. For those who don't know my story, I'll catch you up to speed. My name is Gavin Mail, and all the way back in 2008, I began working online, working on the internet. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna go into an hour monologue about my story. But I will tell you that for many years after starting to work online, I had a lot of failure, brought me into getting into YouTube. That's how I got onto YouTube and marketing at that time. So because of that, and then in 2014, I was exposed to digital currency for the first time and, and, and Bitcoin in 2014. And with that first exposure to digital currency, my mind began, became open to it and, and, and owning it and also exposed a friend of mine, a guy called Juan down at the Wado store. I've shot a video with him before. I'll put a video, a link to a video that I shot with him last year at his water store. And he ended up, as I'm buying water from him, telling me about the new stuff that was going on in digital currency. And this was uh, earlier in 2017. And he knew because I talked to him in 2014 about what I was doing in it and he wasn't into it at that time. He wasn't really interested, but he knew that I had the, the mind for it and I was already like aware and involved in it, but a lot had changed since then and he was really on the cutting edge. So he exposed me to the new things, specifically something called Ethereum. Set my mind on fire with the future of what's going on in digital currency and in the future of money and, and really in the future of the internet as they call it internet 3.0 and the evolution of the new internet with massive platform that allows other companies to build applications on top of the blockchain in a decentralized way meaning no central body or authority looking over you and telling you what you can or can't do like a google or a facebook or a twitter or any any of those it's decentralized no one owns it it's just you peer to peer and the other party. And so today, it's kind of a special day for me because I, I'm, I'm now my mind is aware enough as to what's going on in the power of how it's come this far. I'm really passionate and excited about seeing the future evolve in front of my eyes here in San Francisco. And part of the, the internet's evolving so much and with the invention of the decentralized web and Ethereum, it's created something that's much more, much more powerful and much more ideal for common people like you and I to transact. So here I am today at the Ethereal Summit 2017. I'll let you look into it yourself, but it's not just technology, man. It's not just the internet as you think you know it. It's, the, it's like comparing the internet to hearing about it in 1994. It's the beginning of it. Imagine hearing about the internet in 1994, 95. I had heard of Windows 95, but I wasn't involved in the internet. I wasn't investing in the internet. That's for darn sure. But imagine if you were. Basically, that's what this is. It's a few people, a few thousand people around the world, maybe 100,000, maybe, uh, maybe even up to a million now, that are, are, are what's called innovators. Innovators. These innovators are risk takers, people that see the future as it's evolving before it's happening. The, the old World Wide Web will still exist, but these innovators will then attract early adopters. And as the early adopters come in, that's when we go into a massive global, begin to go to a massive global adoption phase. And it's really an exciting time. It's going to happen fast. It's already happening. And I believe over the next, over the next year and 18 months, it's going to evolve even more. So. I think that uh, if you're a young person, you should. I would highly recommend 
learning as much as you can about it now. A year from now, two years from now, you may have had the obsession that I did. When I first heard about it, I thought, oh my gosh, I have to learn about this. I have to know about this. I have to invest in this. I have to be a part of this. This is the future. This is the present. This is not something I was willing to miss. And it was exactly what I was looking for. I knew I was seeking something much bigger to, to get out there to the world on a much bigger scale. And really, this is it and being a part of it. To give you kind of an example one, on, on one level, you know, if we're in San Francisco here in a big city, we all have access to banking and an ATM easily. But most of the world doesn't. It may sound silly if you're in a big city like myself, but most of the world, other parts of the country, they don't have access to banks, checking accounts, ATMs, credit cards. They don't have an easy way to transact. They don't have an easy, simple way to act. And mobile phones, they do have though. The new mobile phone revolution, smartphone revolution is there and it's in their hands. And so this decentralized web, Ethereum, it's Ethereal Summit, is right at the, hand, at, the, at the forefront of allowing people like this, you know, a guy, a farmer in India or Indonesia or some small town to transact, okay, with his neighbor over his phone in a trustless system. No trust is required. The revolutionary breakthrough and invention that the Satoshi Nakamoto white paper created with Bitcoin was a trustless peer-to-peer cash-based system. That's the breakthrough. That being able to transact online in a digital way without having to trust the other person. How do you do that? That was, the, that was the, really the mystery that PayPal, that Venmo, and these other companies could never figure out. How could you possibly do that? It's because of the ledger, the public ledger of the blockchain. And that's what Ethereum has done. And now it's created a lot of other opportunities for companies to plug into this ledger and build their infrastructure as a part of it. So this is a lot to pick up if you ever heard on it for the first time, but I just uh, thought I'd get, get it out there for you so you are aware of what's going on. This is put on by a company called Consensus out of New York. Joseph Lubin is the founder, and he's also a co-founder of Ethereum. So it's a big deal, and there's probably a thousand people sold out event for months. Let's go check it out. <laughs> How long is it going to go on for? Okay. Hey. See it? Ethereal hey, consensus. I like the shades, man. What what brand are those? Uh, Lokes. Lokes. Tone Loke or what? Something like that. <laughs> cool, man. I like it. <laughs>